Welcome to Octane Mobile Gaming. Welcome once again to the channel. I'm Ayaptain, your host, and today we're going to take a look at the Dark Slayer deck that is out for the next event. We're going to jump right in. We're going to have a look at the Master Collector Ultimate Form, first and foremost. Stripped Sovereigns, and that is the Ultimate Form for this week. The Battle Skill creates 7 Dark Power Gem 8s now and at the start of the next two turns and increase dark slayer's damage by 150 percent for one turn when ambushing reduces damage taken by enemy's attack by 40 percent and cleanse all debuff and dispels all enemies buff six gem charge rate two turn cooldown so let's look at this battle skill more in depth it's going to create 14 power gems over two turns that means you get seven the first turn and seven the second turn and then at the start um, and then it increases dark slayers damage by 150 percent now that increase you can actually obtain that from metaverse master so that's nothing special um, when it comes to this ultimate form you can just add metaverse master to your deck and you can get 150% damage increase. Now the seven dark power gem eights over two turn, that's nothing special as well. You can add metaverse master that will give you a full board of um, rainbow gems that will crush. Plus it creates other, uh, other power gems as well. The only difference is metaverse master is a commander card while this is a slayer card. Now the 150 damage is only for one turn. Now, when ambushing, it reduces damage taken by 40% and it cleanses all enemies debuff. It doesn't matter what affinity cards are on the deck, it will cleanse all debuff from the cards. It doesn't matter how many debuffs, it cleanses all debuff. Now, it cleanses all enemy buffs. That means if it's one buff, two buff, it cleanses all buffs. So that's the only two things that it does that is special about this ultimate form now for me this ultimate form doesn't really ring through when it comes to the slay event it doesn't ring through when it comes to commander event it will it only appeals its only appeal is from a gvg point of view however saying that if you use this card in gvg and it's it comes up against a defender that's got mute it won't be able to use its battle skill 
if it gets hit with mute if it gets hit with um power gem silence you won't be able to use the battle skill if it get hit hit with weaken you won't be able to use the battle skill so this card has got three um possible weaknesses when it comes to gvg that's weaken gem silence or power gem silence and mute so it's not really a brilliant card when it comes to gvg not really a brilliant card when it comes to the dark slayer event or even the dark commander event it does have its upside but however it's got too much weaknesses it hasn't got any passive the only passive it's got on board is ambush and it's the improved ambush so it resets with every new wave or every new boss that enters the the the, the comes up on the screen so it's not really good for a slayer event because once you go into the battle you will not get new boss you will not get new wave the only place this new improved ambush actually works is in gvg and in wave fights when it comes to the commander event but apart from that it's not a brilliant ultimate form this week we've got armor and we've got um we've got we got pierce as well so that is your ultimate form not really a brilliant ultimate form the next one up is a master collection card which creates seven dark power gem eight no one at the start of the next two turn when ambushing reduces damage taken that as well is not really a brilliant master collection card and if we go in to the ultra rare the ultra rare will increase dark 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 slayer's damage by 150 percent for one turn and it will dispel all enemy buffs and all enemies debuff so it's not really a brilliant deck we've got for this week um deck is okay but it's not brilliant not really a brilliant deck we can do without this deck so if you were considering if you should get the deck or not it's a personal choice but i would recommend just forego this um this deck it's not really a brilliant deck if we take a look at the news link for this week if you go down you can see more solo keys leaderboard re uh, reward adjusted so if you've just started out in the game and you're in the soldier league night league um, you won't get any gem rewards it's been removed so solo league leaderboard in the soldier league or the knights league you won't get any gem reward and um guild reward in the um, accolade or the mage and enchanted league uh the gem reward has been uh guild reward has been giftable guild reward has been removed so they've taken away the gem reward for people down in the lord league so if you're just starting out in the in the game you're not really gonna benefit a lot from being in the lower leagues so it comes down to when you're just starting out in the game to buy gems spend 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 so uh, that's not really that good not gonna spend a lot of time on this deck because uh, the deck is pretty disappointing so what we're gonna look do we're gonna take a look at the cards that you can use to get the killer skill it's an immortal killer um, event so we've got free immortal killer ultimate form the first of which is freedom fighter which is a brilliant damage dealer because of that nuke it's got at the end it's got um bonus stat buff and freedom fighters and hard one gorillas are the only two card that's got the five time damage on the the bonus attack so this is freedom fighters i've got the five pink stars to open five times don't expect it to do much damage because there have been a lot of changes in the game since this card actually came out the boss's health is quite high a lot of these cards have been stealth nerf as well regal revolution regal revolutionaries is the next one and this one creates five dark power gem twos plus one per one more per 100 immortal killer intensity and increase immortal killers attack by 180 percent for one turn okay so next one up is steadfast sleuth and steadfast sleuth creates four dark power gem sixes and it yields for four thousand percent of recovery increases dark 
slays the top by 80% for one turn. So one turn cooldown the card as well. And it can create an additional 12 Pogem sixes if a damage or a tap buff is activated by the five cards on the combination, basically. All right, so boost the card or add cards which you can actually use in combination with your deck. The first of which is Metaverse Master that will give you the 150% damage increase. Does create rainbow power gems as well. That is quite nice. High performance unit area will give you the immortal boost that will give you 2,500% um, attack increase to all immortal killer cards. Don't expect your deck to do a lot of damage using this card because a lot of the cards have been stealth nerfed. Lost Covenant is a commander card, but it converts all non dark gems on the board and it upgrades all dark power gems to two rank and then create two dark, create 14 dark power gems. So that will give you an upgrade and it will also give you 14 power gems on the board. But be warned, the level of power gems does give a small increase to the damage or the attack output of your deck doesn't give a massive increase. What gives your deck a massive increase is one attack buff, two damage buff, and the biggest increase comes from the layout of the gems on the board. If you can get the gems in the right order, you can do massive damage. Seabones Calawag as well will upgrade all power, dark power gems on the board, but this is only by one level. And Lord of Exbalba, We'll do the same thing, upgrade all that power gem to one rank as well. So those are some cards from the commander side of things that you can use to boost your deck a bit more. From the slayer side of things, cards that will be useful, you've got Keepers of the Night, you've got Knights of the Round, you've also got Kitchen Magicians, you've got Wonderland Warriors, which is a bit okay. Custodian of Fate is the least of all these four cards. Now, Keepers of the Night will become immune to enemies attack for one turn, and if attack while immune, it creates four Dark Power Gem Sixes. Then it increases Dark Slayer attack for 100% for three turns. It's got four turn cooldown. At the start of each turn, it creates nine Dark Power Gem Sevens and increase self attack by 80% for two turn. This ability can stack. So that is the passive and the battle skill for Keepers of the Night. Now, Knights of the Round is a nice card to use to upgrade your power gems as well. It upgrades all dark power gems by one rank now and at the start of the next turn and increases self attack by 75% for two turns. This card cannot be silenced, it's unstoppable. It also creates four dark power gem sevens on attack plus one more for each battle skill that was activated this turn. So that is quite a nice card to use. Uh, the next one is Kitchen Magician. This one is a deck that, uh, it's, it's a card that's got a reset. So it creates five Dark Power Gem, sevens heal for 3,000% of recovery, then prepares a prepare and finish a dish. Giving 50% Dark Slayer's attack for one turn. And the passive is Frenzied Preparation. Once per turn, when a dish is finished, it refreshes this hero's battle skill so it can be used immediately. So it refreshes the battle skill so it can be used again. Once per turn, when a dish is finished, create an additional four Dark Power Gem 6. So that's uh, just one that will create a bit more Power Gems for you. Wonderland Warriors, uh, create six Dark Power Gem 6s, increases self attack by 100% for one turn. Also gains the Cryptic adva ad Advice buff for two turns creating 10 dark power gem sixes on attack so cryptic advice is, when it's active something curious and powerful occasionally happens so it, it gives you a massive bang for your buck occasionally custodian of faith can reset its um battle skill but it doesn't really do it it just resets it for the next turn so that one is not a brilliant card to use possible combination which you can use all the combination this week is going to be non-event combination. This is one that you can use focusing all your power behind this card, which is Knights of the Realm, which is a chaotic killer card. So that will get a boost from Edstrong Siren. We also get her boost from Metaverse Master. 
um, black flag maroon this will create passive water power gems on the board those will be converted by metaverse master the knight of Ron will upgrade them and steadfast loop will just give you extra power gems on the board the next combination focuses it all it's it's a damage and attack on immortal killer so this will be your main damage dealer which will also give you the killer skill freedom fighters now we've got metaverse masters we've got high performance unit area lost covenant upgrading the power gems and giving us extra power gems knights of the round giving us an upgrade as well so that is quite a nice combination next up is almost the same combination this time we're not using high performance unit area we are using kitchen magician with all the same cards on board which one of these combination will be the most powerful not really sure that would that will be tomorrow when we do possible deck combination uh possible deck combination as well we'll look at other cards see if we can come up with something that's a non-event combination that can actually give us a massive bang for our buck so what do i think i think the current deck is a no-no uh, i wouldn't go deep for it um wouldn't spend my coins on it either i've got 69 coins i could go up to tier six and get the guarantee master collection and craft the ultra rare and craft the ultimate form but i really don't think it's a good deck so i'm not gonna really get this deck this week i'm gonna save my my all my coins for next event which is a earth it's the earth commander deck and that will be your um that will be your valentine's deck as well because it will go straight into valentine's day which is not next monday but the week after monday which is the 14th the final day of the event so next week deck will be your valentine's deck it will be a earth commander and I do like Commander Event a bit more anyways. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Gift of Prosperity. Well, I didn't prosper from anything that I got from it. I wasn't worthy of showcasing, so that was that. So your next event is Year of the Tiger, which celebrates the Chinese New Year. And tomorrow we take a look at possible deck combination. Hopefully we can find something that actually works, not event combination that actually works. So until then, uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment below. This is Ike Tain saying peace and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.